What's up everybody, I'm Sean. I'm a junior or a third year student in University Putra, Malaysia, UPM. I do a lot of tech videos, capturing videos and fun videos about my university life just like this one. If you're new here, welcome and consider subscribing. Before you continue watching this video, please kindly turn on the caption so that you can fully understand the whole video. Welcome to my Sharing is Caring series where I'll be answering your questions from the comment section. In this video, most of the questions are actually coming from the previous video which talks about the JPS scholarship. I strongly recommend you to watch that video first as I've already explained in detail about most of the information that you need to know. And I've linked it up here. Feel free to check it out. Without further ado, let's begin. First question by Jeff. If I apply JPA, should I cancel my PTPTN? Well, you shouldn't cancel your PTPTN nope. loan until you have successfully applied the JPA scholarship. What if you got rejected by JPA scholarship and you cancel your PTPTN loan? Then, you have lost the PTPTN loan as your backup and it's kind of risky. However, once you have gotten the JPA scholarship, you must cancel other scholarship and loan such as PTPTN. Next question by The Positive Guy. Is there any chances that someone barely passing the CGPA requirement to get the scholarship? Yes, of course. But like I said in the previous video, the higher the CGPA, the higher the chances of getting this scholarship. No worries, if you get rejected by JPA for the first time, it's okay. You can try to write an appeal letter to JPA. In the previous video, I have shared in detail how my friends got their JPA scholarship eventually by writing an appeal letter. Feel free to check it out. Next question by Jensen. Does the allowance applies to the 9A plus program as well? First of all, let me explain. JPA, which is Public Service Department, offers different kind of scholarships to different group of students. For example, there is scholarship offer for high school students that score 9A plus in SPM, and also there is scholarship offer for university and college students like me. Now, let's go back to the question asked by Jensen. Does the allowance apply to the 9A plus program as well? No, the allowance of this scholarship does not apply to the 9A plus program as these two scholarships are designed for different students. One is for high school students and another one is for university students. No worries, I'm going to drop the related link down in the description box below. You can go through it if you want to. Next question by YY. There's many arguments about how we had to wait for a year before they enroll us in any job. Is it possible if I ended the contract and worked with non-governmental company before the one year waiting time passed? Yes, of course you can. According to the terms and conditions, you need to pay 50% of the full amount which is about 20,000 regulation if you are working for a non-government company. By the way, this is the percentage that you need to pay back if you are working for a different company. Next question by Vanessa. I want to ask if you are going to take educational courses, does that fall in the art section or does the JPA doesn't hand out scholarship for this type of courses? Well, I'm sorry to say, JPA scholarship doesn't cover educational courses. In fact, there are some courses that are not covered by the JPA scholarship. I'm going to show you the courses now. If you want to know more, kindly click the link down in the description box below. Next question by Donkey. Does this JPA scholarship have interviews? No, there's no interview for this JPA scholarship. Everything is applied through online. Kindly check out my previous video if you want to know how to apply for this JPA scholarship. Next question by Hidayah. The appeal letter is submit with the application form or after we get the result of the scholarship. Now, imagine this, you have fulfilled all the requirements for these scholarships and you got rejected by JPA. What you can do is to write a good appeal letter to JPA and hopefully you can get the scholarship at the end. So, if you got accepted in your first application for this scholarship, congratulations and you are done. The appeal letter shall be submitted if and only if you got rejected in your first application. Next question by Patois. Well, this is an interesting question. Based on your CGPA, you will actually get a first class. So PTPTN is converted into a full scholarship. Don't see the point of changing to JPA for your case unless you want to work for government. With PTPTN, you can have the option to do postgraduate and apply for postgrad scholarships without having to pay back the loan if you achieve first class honours. I don't see this option is available for JPA without paying back the full amount. Alright, first thing first, JPA will give me a total of 44,000 ringgit Malaysia while PTPTN will only give me 21,000 ringgit Malaysia. Now, I'm already a JPA holder and if I'm working for government company in the future, then JPA scholarship will turn into full scholarship which means I don't have to pay back a single penny. Even if I'm working for non-government company, I only need to pay back 50% of the full amount. 
That means I've already taken 22,000 Ringgit Malaysia for free which is almost equal to the amount of PTPPM. In fact, you can do a lot of things with the extra money that you got from JPS Scholarship such as reselling, investment and etc. So, my suggestion is to try to apply for a JPS Scholarship. If you got accepted by JPS Scholarship, it's a no-brainer, just accept it. Trust me, you won't regret. And if you got rejected by JPS, it's okay, just try to appeal. Next question by Sufian. Can I study structural engineering in UPM? Yes, of course you can. I've dropped the link down in the description box below. And when does the course start? Alright, local universities start in September for semester 1 and start in February for semester 2. Next question by Pathois. What is the CGPA needed for engineering in UPM? Not the minimum, but the actual cutoff points for STPM. Thanks. To be honest, I'm not sure about the actual cutoff CGPA for STPM or Form 6 students. But I have Form 6 friends who got 3.25, 3.33 and 3.42 who got enrolled into UPM engineering courses. Next question by... Hey, it's Ray. Hey Sean, I'll be curious about the dress code in UPM. Well, you can see this kind of banner in pretty much every faculties and hostels in UPM. And that is the proper dress code for UPM students. Anyway, if you have watched my previous vlog, it's actually okay to wear round neck t-shirts, long pants and sports shoes for normal classes. But if you have a presentation or if you are going to attend a very ceremonious and important seminar, then it's better for you to wear semi-formal or formal attire. Next question by Isra. How about your class timetable? Is it fixed or you can arrange the class by yourself? Actually, it depends on the number of students for that subject. If there are a lot of students for that subject, then you can choose the time slot because usually the students will be separated into two groups. And if there are very little students for that subject, then the time slot is fixed because there is only one group of students. Next question by Abdullah123. Brother, does UPM University give scholarship for computer engineering students? Hey Abdullah, UPM does offer scholarships but usually the scholarship is for postgraduate students. So please kindly check out the link down in the description box below. Next question by Xiao. Hi Sean, can you please share a video about how to make or how to do assignments, reports and so on. For example, how to present when it comes to presentation and submission week. Hi Xiao, I think I will share the tips and the techniques in my future vlog. So stay tuned for that. Next question by Nabil. Susah ke nak masuk UPM? And the translation is, is it hard to enter UPM? And the translation is, is it hard to enter UPM? To be honest, I used to think that UPM is extremely hard to enter. But then, I realised that if you work hard and work smart enough, entering UPM is not as difficult as you think. In fact, I have made a few videos about how do I study, how do I get dean's list, how do I get 4 flat in UPM. I'll link it up here. Feel free to check it out. Even if you get rejected by your desired universities, it's okay. You can try to appeal if you are good at something such as you are the national player or state player of a certain sport. In my opinion, it's really worth trying to appeal for your desired university. In fact, there are tons of appeal letter format and example on the internet. Just google them up. One little tip is, when you are writing the appeal letter, try to think what value you could bring to the university that you are applying to. Next question by Hyun. If I want to learn how to do coding, could you please suggest some good online references? I'm going to drop the link down in the description box below. Other than that, you can also search coding back on Google. There are a lot of free exercises with solutions on this website. Next question by Hoon again. Does computer engineering learn coding on making apps? Yes, we have learned different programming languages to design apps such as hotel reservation system. And usually, it's our final project at the end of every semester. Next question by Jim Lee. Is there a public piano in UPM? No, there is no public piano in UPM. But there are some piano for music students to practice and sit for the examination. Alright, last question by Mary. How many languages can you speak? I'm a Chinese staying in Malaysia and Malaysia is a multiracial country. So I can speak Malay, English, Chinese and Cantonese. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm here to wish you all the best if you are applying JPS scholarships or other scholarships. I guess this is the end of today's video. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you like this kind of content and benefited from it. Please kindly share this video to your friends, your classmates, and etc. so that they can benefit from this video as well. So, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm Sean and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. A targeting for different. Feel free to check it out.
I don't know. I only need. I don't know. I'm a Malaysian. I'm a. 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 I'm a.